Are we back? Are we back? I don't know. I'm afraid. <laughs> I'm afraid of saying we're back because I feel like that's when it's going to drop again. Alright. Well, hello, everyone. Um, My internet just cut out like a billion times. Not even like my internet. It's just... I don't know. The stability of it keeps on cutting out. It happens throughout the day. For some reason, it's only like actually... I, I it only actually is important whenever I start streaming. Uh, a bit of a shame. However, it seems to be okay now. Kind of. I'm not gonna jinx myself. I fucking jinxed myself. That's crazy, actually. What the fuck? <laughs> it just jumped down to zero. Hmm. I don't know if I could stream in these conditions. Like, every second it's disconnecting. What am I supposed to do? What the fuck? I think I'm fine now. Alright, yeah. Hello, everyone. My internet was being very not good, and it seems to be doing alright now. So we're just going to continue as if nothing happened. I, I don't know what I'm going to do with the VODs. Um, obviously not going to upload the ones that are like barely um, 50 seconds long. Uh, but, yeah, hopefully, I don't know. I, I expect this to happen again, TBH. So, yeah, whatever. All right, let's continue while I'm while you guys can see whatever the hell I'm doing. All right, so, yeah, like I was saying, um, I'm okay with the collar being, like, one... What's it called? Like one, one just sheet. Um, but I do, I am planning on making the rest of the coat. Although, should I? I was thinking of making it like have some volume to it, like what I'm doing here, basically. I would basically like connect them like this, and so this wouldn't have volume, but. The rest of the coat would. And obviously I'd sort of uh, make it so that probably, hold on. I want to bring it up a bit so that's a lot more closer to the other one. I want it to have a bit of thickness, but not like, but not like, um, like no thickness. But yeah, and then my plan would be to sort of extrude out, you know, the right way. And then sort of just, like, have a sort of 3D, not 3D, but you know what I mean. Three-dimensional, with volume, uh, kind of look. But I don't know if I should do that. Maybe I should just make it, like, a sheet. It would definitely be easier to weight paint. Because things with a thickness that are this smaller can give me trouble. I'm going to continue specifically with the top layer here. And uh, if I feel like it look would look better with some thickness, then I'll just sort of copy the bottom layer.
All right, sorry. I'm just fixing that up. Need the help. Okay, yeah. <laughs> I'm not going to relax it then. Okay, I think from this back view, you can see that it actually does wrap around. I guess I need, like, where exactly does it end? It seems to end, like, right halfway down her arm. Like, you know, her upper arm, not, like, the bottom of the arm. Um, I wonder how this is going to work with, um, with rigging. Because obviously it's going to be, like, stretched out a bit. Because she has, like, her hands out. If anything, that would mean that it'd be, like, higher up, right? It would ride up. But it's not going to have, like, cloth physics or anything like that. So it's not going to, like, go up or down, depending on, like, what way she's, like, has her arm bent or anything like that. The hell, why are these stitched together? Wait, what? Oh, wait. Oh, I see. I see if it's happening. There we go. My bad. I got confused. How far back does that does it go down? It goes down not that much actually. Maybe like the middle of her back. Right here maybe. The hell? I would assume it would hang off of her, off of her body like that. I'm just trying to get the, like the general shape of it down so I could see like exactly how I'm going to sort of uh how I'm gonna make this that's the basic shape but like I said it, it's gonna be like stretched out here. Because her arm, it's going to, at least this point, in these points around this area here, are going to follow her arm. So I expect this to be stretched out. It's not going to work like, I guess, a normal fabric would, where when her stretch, arms are stretched out, it sort of, like, fall, like, more closer to her body. And then as her arms come down, it would obviously fall lower on her arms. Um, I'm going to have it like this instead. So that I don't have to worry about that. Because I don't even know how, how I would even do that. 
change the placement of uh, the the cloak depending on the position of her arms. I feel like that'd be very interesting to set up. I don't even know how it would even transfer over to Unity as well. So I'm okay with it stretching a bit on the back. I have to sort of make uh, the mesh sort of capable of stretching this much. Hmm. Alright, let me continue my music now that things seem to be shaping up. What is this? One, two, three, four. I might add more points. Uh, wait, how many is that? That's not four. That's four. I think I accidentally clicked the uh, subdivide by accident. My bad. Also, I guess, yeah, another thing I could talk about is that apparently due to a TikTok I saw, uh, which is one, two, three, four. Yeah, due to a TikTok I saw, uh, apparently, wait, does that look good? We could always move things around. But yeah, apparently to a TikTok I saw by the creator of the Binding of Isaac, uh, the multiplayer uh, thing is set to release on November of this year. It is a long ways away, and it is a shame that uh, I was unable to test it out due to reasons, apparently, that I kind of forgot about, TBH. Um... Mm -mm -mm -mm. But yeah, I'm probably still going to do what I talked about before last year, what I want to do with it, which is kind of just make it a community effort to, um, to like complete the game entirely using only co-op and playing with viewers. I'm hoping they add what it, uh, I talked about over and over again. I can't like, shut up about it, apparently. Um, but yeah, hoping they do, in fact, add the ability to host games and allow people to join said host games using a code of some sort instead of having to friend people. Um, because then it would make things a lot easier for people to join and not me having to basically... Add them as friends. And go through all that rigmarole. But, like I said, it's in November, which is very, very far away.
So yeah, not much we could do about that, but wait. I feel like I might add more loop cuts and points to the to this coat thing, just so that, especially when it comes down to white painting stuff, I would want there to be more points. All right, sorry. What else can I talk about? Minecraft? I don't know. I think at some point it would be nice to have a sort of... Uh, a Minecraft server of some sorts. I've always been a fan of... Oh, shit. Uh, I always thought it'd be really cool to be a part of something like that. Specifically modded Minecraft. I love fucking modded Minecraft. I guess I like the sort of modded Minecraft that sort of includes a bit of uh, a bit of science mods, a bit of magic mods. You know how it is. Love me a good old fashioned quest book. Is that like far enough down? I feel like that isn't. I feel like I need to make it lower down. I mean, it is fine. I mean, I don't really have a lot of shots of her back. TBH, because I didn't think it was important. Wait, what is this front side front? Oh, that one? Look at this one. Combined with the fluffiness, yeah, it goes. It doesn't go far that far down. I guess it looks a bit silly without the fluffiness. It is. Hmm. If we go off of like the length of the shirt, it does take up like half of the length of the shirt. There's very little left. And in here, if you look at this one, there's a lot of shirt left. Um, I can't really show you because there's like a bunch of fucking references in the way. Um, but yeah, look at all this shirt that's left. I think I need to, I, I should bring it down a bit more. Maybe like here. But yeah, I, I just want... I would just love, love a, a community game. I was talking earlier about Stardew Valley, and I'm not sure if there's a way to sort of incorporate community elements to, to Stardew Valley. Because um, I think you could have, like, max, like, four people in a game. And I think their information gets stored. And once you have, like, four people join, um, no one else could join. Because, like, it's, it's sort of, like, records their 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 information and so only their information matters kind of thing i think i have to look into it some more but then again i don't know But yeah, I guess Helldivers can be a pretty, a pretty nice community game because it does involve a bit of community stuff. But even then, I feel like um, yeah, I don't know. I feel like this in this front part right here should also be controlled by the arm, so it should like as you bend. But then, hmm, yeah, I think it'd be fine. Maybe I don't know. In some instances, this being controlled by the arm might cause a lot of clipping issues, but I think it's a lot better than just like having it being controlled by the chest. And then when the arms move and the chest moves differently, it kind of acts really weirdly.
But yeah, like I was saying, a community game would be nice. And like I said, Health Divers is be a nice community game. The issue with Health Divers is how, like, I guess... Um... How much, like, it's, I guess, sort of it exerts... Is that what I'm looking for? That, I mean, is that the word I was trying to say? Wait, I'm, not, I'm trying to think also, do I want to do this? I feel like it flattens out too much. I was going to say, yeah, um... I would like a game that is sort of like not that uh intensive in needing of like a decent PC to play. Um I feel like that cuts away a lot of people who could potentially join you, you know. And also my computer can't handle it that much. I mean it can, but you know, sometimes crashes happen. Having a game that doesn't crash that much would be nice. So yeah. Hold on, let me look it up actually. Hold on. Uh Pew. Yeah, I don't know. I don't really see anything. <sighs> Whatever then. But yeah, I'll have to look into it some more, I guess. And I don't even know if Stardew is exactly the game I would want to sort of be the one that I choose to do that. Hmm. Sorry, I was looking at the reference to see if there was any reference where you could see the sort of back of the coat from the front view. So I could see like exactly what I'm supposed to be looking at, or how it would look like from the front. Because from the front, you could kind of see it a little bit. 
at least with her arms stretched out. But in this one, there's like this fuzzy thing on the back, but I don't think that's her. I think that's just like some background nonsense. Um, and then in these views, you can't see anything from the back or from the, that angle in this view, I guess is what I'm using. Why is it you do it? Why are you doing this? All right. Uh, just so similarly to that of the other bits, I'm going to extrude this a little bit. What is going on with the, the dimensions? There we go. I think it fixed itself a little bit. That was really weird. Yeah, similarly to the shirt and skirt, um, this extra extrusion here is going to be primarily used to adding these little ruffle details without needing to make them myself with geometry. I'm just going to paint them on in texture image and alpha out these sort of, you know, the areas where there isn't supposed to be topology or, you know, geometry, I mean. Yeah, I'm doing that with the top of that. I'm doing that with the bottom of the skirt. And I'm doing that for the this part here of the shirt, and as well as the area around, uh, what is it called, the collar. Two simplified things for me. Um, and now, I guess we need to make the fluffy stuff, which actually, now that I think about the fluffy stuff, like, mm, I probably need to, like, sort of make this a bit farther away from the, from the hand, because I assume this is going to be, like, the middle ground. In, the, in like in the middle of the fluffy stuff. All right, how am I going to do the fluffy stuff actually? It just looks like a lot of bumps and and stuff. Let me hold on. Let me look up how someone does cotton. Because that's when I want to look at that, I sort of think of, like, cotton. Uh, blender. Just, like, random ploofs. It's, it's unwieldy. I don't know. My issue is a lot of people just, like, make balls and stuff. And then they use, like, some sort of, uh... At least in this video, they're using some sort of cloud texture, a uh, volume texture. But I want it to be very, I want it to be as low as poly as possible, because I don't want it to, you know, I don't want all the detail and all the sort of trade count to go to uh, the, the, the cape that she has. I could use a normal map, make it once without a normal map, and then make it again. With a normal map, and then potentially it might, you know, might look good. Also, a lot of these things that I'm seeing here are just, like, cotton material. You know, ha having this sort of effect of, like, randomness to it. But what I want is more of, like, uh, I want the shape of cotton, not the sort of texture of cotton, if that makes any sense. Hold on, let me let me look at the let me let me let me go into Twitter real quick and let me see if I saved any post that has that sort of style so I could see how they did it. Yeah, because depending on the sort of complexity of the characters and their outfits will probably depend on, like, whether or not I decide to, um, uh, what's it called? Decide to split up the two outfits that I'm eventually going to make for her into two different characters for, like, VR chat. Because right now, without the bang stuff, it's... Oh, actually, it's pretty fine. It's 13k tricks. Obviously, the coat is going to be... Wait, is it the coat? 
Which one is it? Shirt. No, it's not the shirt either. Oh, I don't think any of them actually. Never mind. I was going to say, like, oh, one of these has a subdivision surface modifier on top of it. But none of them do. Not even the coat. I mean, they do have one, but it's not applied or it's not, like, showing. So all the work that I'm doing to it is that of an un subdivisioned object. So 13 trigs for currently right now, not bad. Obviously, I'm going to be adding hair afterwards and the crown, uh, which might increase it a little bit more, but we'll have to see. I think for Medusa, I forgot how much Medusa was. I think she was like 50k, maybe 60k trigs, which wasn't that bad. Or was it or was it 70k? I don't remember. Yeah, I think the part I'm afraid about the most is the hair. Especially for the time skip version, I feel like the trig count's going to shoot up from this version here. I still don't know how people do it sometimes. I guess... I guess... Hmm. I, maybe I care too much about keeping it under 70k trigs. Because I've said it before, I've definitely seen... Um, characters made that just have like an insane high amount of trick level. Um, I'm trying to, I guess, sort of be more optimized about it, but I guess if you're just trying to make it look good and don't really care too much about like that kind of stuff, then it's kind of like whatever. The higher the trick count, the better it looks. <laughs> Sorry, I'm just um checking uh the things that I've saved to see if anyone has made some sort of like fur coat or collar that I could potentially get some inspiration from when I when it comes to me making that as well. Because, yeah, I feel like someone must have made it, right? Is there any games that have played that's the case? I don't think if oh you know what I think Genshin has a character. Ula has like a, a bit of a fur coat. Hold on, let me see how she's made. What was it called again? It was called like the website that I went to. It's called like Game Fashion Archive. There we go. Where you're able to see um Genshin Impact models. Oh, wait, no, it's not Lula. Where is he? Is it a, I think it starts with a Y, right? Am I wrong about that? Yalen. Is that it? Yes. Is, is it? Let me see. Full model. Hmm, it's kind of like more fur. It's more like animal-shaped kind of fur, you know what I mean? Where it's cut instead of a... 
it being just like random sort of more like cotton looking stuff it, it has like spikiness to it like it's taken from an animal but like more like a not <laughs> sheeps aren't animals but i mean like you know what i mean More of a spiky animal. <laughs> spiky hair. Looks like the yeah, it looks more like wolf or like fox tail stuff. Maybe not this. Is there any other characters that I can think of? I don't know. Ningguan kinda has a bit of a collar around her. A furry collar. Yeah, from this, from this, I don't know if this is like the official model, but yeah, it looks like a blob, and then has a bunch of like little spikes coming off of it. If anything, the spikes are also pretty low poly. It looks like they're made out of just like four, four edges point going up to one point. I thought I was thinking of doing it regardless, making, or at least sort of like mapping out the shape of the, the fluffiness using just like a subdivided curve, curve, no, subdivided cube or something, and just sort of like doing that, and then maybe adding stuff on top of that. Let me go through all the characters. Oh, wait, hold on. Let me look at someone that I think have one. Mm-mm, mm-mm, mm-mm. Oh, Baiju also has a bit of a fluffy coat. A lot of the fluffiness, though, is drawn on uh, with, like, very little bits sticking out of the actual outfit. I might go that route, but like I said, instead of painting the, the details on, I think I was going to go with a, a normal map. I guess it kind of depends on if the um, if the belt normal map works like I want it to, then that could probably work as well. But yeah, I don't know. I think the normal maps are most um normally used to to show like uh. You know, like indents in something. Uh, I don't think I've ever seen a normal map being used to show like, uh, depth, as in like things coming out. In some ways, you can. I feel like I saw one where someone used it to make a box look like, look like it had bolts, which is basically what I wanted to do with the belt. I want to make it look like it has the circles on there without the circles actually being on there. Although I wouldn't mind the circles being on there either, because like I said, the um the trick count right now is pretty low. And obviously that could change. But yeah, for now, I think I'm going to go the route of making a subdivided cube and just sort of making it act as if it's the fluff. And I'll see if I can add some detail to it, whether it's adding more geometry to make some some circle thing looking things or maybe drawing on the detail or using an old map or something. I'll have to think about it. Oh, Yanfei has some, right?
Oh yeah, but it's draw on. Never mind. I was gonna say like Yanfei has, I think, some, some fluff to her. But a lot of the detail is drawn on, and some parts is just made spiky to sort of add a bit more detail to them, I guess. Oh, Eugene has some, some fluff around her neck. It must be like a, uh, God, it's been, <laughs> it's been a long time since I've played Genshin that I've forgotten all of this stuff. It's a, it's a very, what's it called again? Leeway thing, I guess, to have like fur. I think like all the leeway characters have some sort of like fur around their neck. But it just looks like a mass, just like a gigantic mass of like geometry around her neck with the occasional spiky bit sticking out. Hers is very, very like filled with a bunch of like circled things coming out though, which is why it's kind of like, I don't know. All right. The fuck? Oh, okay. there. It's giving me errors for some reason. Hmm, all right. And that's how it's going to work. And now I just, like, sort of extrude from, like, this bit here. Oops.
<laughs> well, I just realized my music stopped. Hold on. Oh, that's why it stopped. <laughs> it was like, you want to continue watching? No. I think that. I wish I'm going to have to smooth this out so it's not circular. Um... Mm -mm -mm. Wait, hold on. Okay, never mind. I was gonna say, like, what?
What's going on? I still feel like it's a bit circular. I see the vision and yeah this is supposed to go this is supposed to wrap around any sort of outskirts of this all right give me one moment i'm going to use the bathroom and when i come back i'm going to continue working on the coat thingy beer beer
All right, I'm back. Hello. I am back. What's up, guys? Hmm. Hmm. <clears throat> All right, so yeah. Oh, God. Hmm, I wonder when I should stop to play Health Divers. If I'm being honest with you, <laughs> if <you're, laughs> I wouldn't be opposed to stopping now. But uh, I do want to get some work in at least, you know. Do some, do some, do some things, you know. I don't want to just immediately dive into Health Divers, even though I want to try out the new gun so bad. Oh, anyway, let's continue. So yeah. Uh, I'm still not sure how I feel about... Actually, it might be fine. I don't know. Maybe I'm just being annoying. Wait, let me... Should I delete this? Nah, I'm just gonna keep it. Whoops. It looks like it starts to get smaller as it gets closer up to the chest. Uh, or higher up here. Because it kind of ends, it seems like, like right there. And it's, I mean, it's kind of... I mean, it looks like it ends literally, like, here, basically. Um, I think I'll, I'll do, like, a couple more loop cuts or something. But just, like, shrink more and more as I do more. I'm, I am going to probably have to move the... The cape a little bit also because this current method is causing some clipping Probably actually like link these together because all that's going to do is add the mirror modifier, and it, it would allow me to try to move the things together a little bit. Oh, you know what? Maybe, maybe I need to like come on. I feel like I need to like, oh, you know what, actually, mm, hold on. <laughs> Before we continue extruding. Oh. I kind of want to like bring this down a bit or like flat, flatten it down a little. Uh, on both ends. So it's more, instead of like, I guess, circular, it's more like cube-esque. But um, I think that's fine.
Hmm. Yeah, I don't know what else. <laughs> Sorry, I was silent there for a moment. I don't know what else to talk about. Is that good actually, or is that clipping still? It is clipping a little bit. I do want it to like sort of, I guess, not clip because when, uh, when she puts her hands down, I don't want it to. Uh, I don't want any sort of clipping issues. I guess that's something I'm gonna have to work with when it comes to, um, what's it called? Uh, the whole like rigging weight paintings part of it. Because, yeah, when our hands go down, it's going to push this inward, and that is definitely going to clip. Uh, I think. Unless, hmm, I don't, hmm, I don't know. I'm, I'm gonna leave it like that for now. I mean, there is already st there's still some clipping that I need to fix. Uh, I don't want it. I don't want it to like go too far off away just because of the fluffiness. I might. Hmm. I might actually push this up, like instead of it being like halfway, because that's what I was going with at the moment. I might actually just like push it up, and instead of, like not have it that way. Like one fourth, I guess, instead of half. Oh, nice. It's like barely not clipping anymore. <laughs> 